you know, in my practice outside of the Chopra Center, when I, I do have 20 minute visits with my uh, patients, uh, I use a lot of handouts. So um, mm -hmm. it's it's laying the groundwork. So um, even I'll make some statements that I believe what you have can be uh, taken care of with uh, some lifestyle change, some dietary modifications. And then I'll outline, these are the general principles, eat whole food, you know, as much in the whole natural mm -hmm. state as possible, it's just stop buying things in the box, you know, um, try to buy things that don't have a lot of herbicides and pesticides, move your body, I'll say, you know, try a 15 minute walk after you eat lunch, mm -hmm. if you can, you know, during your lunch break. So I introduce a few concepts and meditation and then I give them some online resources or mm -hmm. places they can get CDs to get started. And then the advantage in that setting is that I can see them back in a month mm -hmm. and I can say how many of these things have you started, what are you experiencing, what challenges are you facing. And sometimes over six, seven, eight, ten, twelve months, you know, you, you start to, they're, yeah, they mm -hmm. do, exactly. And I think that's a good message is what the physician tells people as far as expectations mm -hmm. is really important. And um, when you start to do things from an Ayurvedic perspective where you're you're trying to eliminate all of the things that have gotten in the way mm -hmm. of someone's health. First is identifying what those things are, then it's eliminating those, mm -hmm. then it's allowing the body's natural healing mechanisms to do what it knows how to mm -hmm. do. It can take some time. So mm -hmm. at the first visit often I'll tell people, you know, this might take a year or two, but you'll be in a much different place. Mm -hmm. And um, I think just setting the stage that it's not in medicine, we think in three months everything mm -hmm. should be different, right? Or two weeks. You know, we want to write a prescription, see them back, immediately have an effect. But the body doesn't work that way mm -hmm. in a holistic sense. You know, mm -hmm. um, it, it, takes, it takes some time to manif manifest those things that are going to be permanent and in a balanced way. Mm -hmm. Now, there are lots of studies that show meditation, even what, after one single meditation, that our genome mm -hmm. is much different. However, then you need to maintain a regular practice of, you know, these mind-body practices to keep in that more healthy state mm -hmm. of genome ex expression. When you're making poor choices, and I, this is also what I describe to people, you know, you, you have this natural state of balance or homeostasis that your body wants to be in. When you make choices that don't support that homeostasis, you're just, you know, moving mm -hmm. the balance away. When you make choices that are encouraging that homeostasis, then that's where you'll stay more often. Mm -hmm. So it's all about choices, yeah. and, and it's empowering for people to realize that every day, every moment, they have a choice as to whether they're, you know, whether it's food or activity or response to an emotion or an interaction with someone, mm -hmm. whether it's a choice that's leaving them away from balance or toward balance. Um, and the medical system. We should be helping people mm -hmm. understand what what choices move me away from mm -hmm. balance and what choices move me toward balance. It's amazing sometimes um, when I realize that oftentimes people don't know. Yeah. And Ayurveda is wonderful because it's really about self-awareness mm -hmm. and it's about understanding the different mind-body types and that there are different, very different things that are often opposite things would be balancing for one person versus another. Mm -hmm. 